What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and today we got a pretty easy and basic tutorial again today, and this is actually the Nest Quick logo, and what inspired me to actually make this is I was sitting in my room drinking the strawberry milk of Nest Quick, and I was like, dang, I was like, this logo's not too hard to make, so uh, that's pretty much what came to me, and then I was like, alright, I hopped on my brother's computer since he's not here, and this is what I came up with. So basically, this is actually really easy to do, it's one layer, it's one layer style, and we're pretty much going to be making this today, and we're going to end up giving out the layer style for 35 likes in the description. So basically what you want to start off with is going on to Google or going in the description and downloading a font called Helvetica, that's a rounded complete font, and once you download this you're going to have to download a series of them, and then you can pretty much just open up Photoshop. So right now I'm using a background size 1920 by 1080 and you guys can use basically whatever you want, and you can just pretty much start off the new layer. So uh, this quick's logo is usually on a yellow background, that's why I just made a kind of yellow background, and I honestly didn't know what yellow to use because... It's really hard choosing a yellow if you guys like ever like realize that it's not like really easy to choose a color yellow but um pretty much what it is I did that and just grab the text tool and I just typed in my uh, word I'm just gonna use Nest quick again because it's easier and then I highlighted it all next thing I did is I clicked this little document right here and these little things popped up and you guys can change the spacing so I put the spacing pretty close together um about negative 60 and then right here is your how with your font or the width of your font like how to make it fatter and stuff so uh the font itself is actually pretty skinny of nest quick so i'm gonna go right here about 68 percent actually maybe around 74 around 74 i'm looking at the, the thing right now next to me i'm still drinking it so um basically after you're done with that is take it and take the size up about a, like about that i don't know pretty big of it pretty big uh, of your screen and you're pretty much set so far so uh, the next thing you guys want to do is right click on it and go to blending options and you're gonna go right here to color overlay if you guys don't have it you should pop up in the effects right here just click cover color overlay click right here and you guys are gonna go to a nice blue and you're gonna make the blue pretty dark so make sure it's actually in the blue section not the purple and it's not totally black but it's not totally blue it's kind of like in the middle right here and you guys can obviously change that back around when uh, you get the other stuff done. So after you click OK, and then you can pretty much just mess with the bevels and emboss and stuff like that. But before we go on with that, what I'm going to do is click Edit, Transform, and go to Skew. And this is pretty much where you guys can change your way the angle is. So I'm going to move it up about 12, negative, excuse me, negative 12. And I'm going to recenter it just because it's nicer to be recentered. Right click, go back on the text, go back to Blending Options. Oops, Blending Options. Go to effects and go to bevels and emboss, and this is when you want to make the. Uh, this is how you, when you're going to make the kind of like in-depth spot of the text. So, what you want to do is just put this basically on screen or normal. Put this to 100% and put this to zero, and then go up to your, to your depth, and you're going to put the depth up to about 200. And then this is when you want to start messing with the size and soften. So size, you pretty much want to bring it out a little bit and soften about half of that, and then mess with the depth again, so like that. And then right here, your angle, you guys can mess with your angle. I'm going to leave mine around 150, actually a little bit, maybe like 130. So yeah, like one around 130. And I'm going to pretty much leave it here until we get more in, more into it. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is go back to effects and click on outer glow. And then go to your blend mode and put it on normal. So right here is when you put your size up and then your spread up even more. And then you're going to put your opacity to 100%. And this is when you want to mess with your size, is bring the size down. And don't put it too fat onto the e-text, but put it enough where you guys can obviously see it. And just put the size up a little bit more, like that. If you guys can hear my music in my background, that's actually in my room. I'm in my brother's room right now using his computer. So, uh... Let me just look at it a little bit, see what else we can do. Alright, so after that, you pretty much are, you can just click FX again and go straight into your drop shadow. So with the drop shadow, what I'm going to do is just put this on normal, and then put the size up again, as I said before, the opacity, and then the spread, and then their distance. So you can put the, uh, there you go, put the size down, and the spread will change. And you're going to want to make it like, in a, like a definite stroke around. Just put the color right now to about a good orange, and then mess with your distance again. And your angle. And then you guys can lower your opacity. Like this. 
Maybe put your spread up a little more. Your size. Actually, I put the size back down. Um. It's kind of like a guessing check, so I'm not gonna go too into into that. But um, I'm gonna go back into my stroke actually. I'm gonna stroke my outer glow and put my spread a little bit down, just so it's less of a more more of like a eye popping thing. So we're gonna go back to your bevel and emboss, and this is what you guys want to mess with your uh, your depth again. And since you have that, you guys can pretty much just mess around yourself and. Don't really mess with the uh, soften too much. You, the highest you want to go to is half of your size. And then, obviously, you can put this on normal. But it pretty much does the same exact thing. You guys can mess with the opacity of it. So, uh, the last thing you guys can do with this is actually go to inner bevel. And you guys can change it. So, you can change it to an emboss. You guys can change it to pillow emboss. Uh, a stroke. Outer bevel. And then, last but not least, the inner bevel is what you use. And then, technique, you guys can make it a chisel hard, which makes it more of an in depth look. And then, you guys can put chisel soft, which kind of brings out the uh, curves and stuff. I like using it on smooth mostly. And then, you just can click enter. Right click on your text, go to blending options again, and then click new style. And you guys can label this, let's say Nest Quick. That's not how you spell it. I spelled this the whole time. The whole time I spelled it wrong. I was looking at it on my thing. I was like, no wonder the K is so close. All right, there you go. More of the Nest Quick logo. So, uh, basically, this is it. Um, the last thing you guys can do to make it look a little cooler is just duplicating it and making one bigger than the other. Make a new layer. Merge these two layers together. So, rasterize type and merge them. Go to blur and put a nice Gaussian blur on it. And then just lower the opacity. Make it pop out a little more. There you go. So that's basically it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, let me know in the comments below. This is only about 35 likes worthy of getting a download link. And this will be the layer style. So this is about it. If you guys definitely learned something, I'll let, let me know. Leave a like on this video. And if you guys want me to do any other drink company logos, let me know. It's actually pretty easy to do and it's pretty fun to do. And you guys can use this in banners and actually be pretty uh, creative and pretty original. Because I don't see people doing banners like this too often. So that's about it. If you guys are liking my upload schedule, even when I don't have a computer, let me know. Because I'm working my ass off to do this. And that's about it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you guys for 4,700 subscribers. Peace out.